Alright, so welcome back to the channel guys. So today we'll be discussing and comparing our two ECUs. I'll be switching from the Dictator to a Speedwino. I previously ran the Dictator standard and now I'm changing over to the Speedwino version 4. So yeah, I'll just be comparing features and uh, upgrades that this ECU has over the previous one. So if you do enjoy this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. I see every like, I see every new subscriber and uh, it honestly makes a difference and encourages me to make some more videos. So engine management is probably just as important as actually having an engine. In my case, I'm running a turbo engine, but even if you're running an NA engine, a good management would be still benefit you. So in this case, in my car, I was running a Dictator, but the Dictator lacked quite a few features. From the Dictator, it basically only managed spark and fueling according to the crank signal, which wasn't really a crank signal because the it actually took the crank signal off of the hull sensor inside the distributor. You can see it right down there. It took the crank signal off of the hull sensor, which is a four window sensor. So basically meaning it's uh, four flaps with a sensor picking up the intervals of those flaps and the speed at which they are turning. And the dic my dictator would only allow me to run a single coil and it would only allow me to run that specific style of crank sensor and batch fuel injection. So that is quite a so that's quite a drawback if you want to upgrade your system, your if you want to upgrade your setup in phases as you would have to actually buy a different ECU every time. So with the Speedino, we move away from having that set fuel type and the spark type and we actually gain a few more features which the Dictator didn't have. So the Dictator also didn't have uh, launch control, didn't have boost cut. It basically just had spark and fuel and you wouldn't be able to control which type of ignition, which type of engine cut you could run. You could only use ignition cut or fuel cut. You couldn't use them together. You could only use uh, TPS engine control or uh, map engine control. You couldn't use both of them together. But with Speedwino, I'm able to use the map sensor right down here, as well as the built-in throttle body sensor on the Mark 1.8T throttle body. This would allow the engine to respond better to uh, throttle blips, or if you actually shift gears, to respond better, to be more immediate with its effect to fueling and timing having a TPS as well as the map sensor. Let's talk about the different ways in which Dictator actually controls the uh, injectors and spark compared to Speedwino. So injectors and spark is probably the most basic stuff. And uh, Speedwino allows me to choose my ignition type between wasted spark, uh, single coil or coil and plugs. The Speedwino could allow me to update my coils in the future still running the same ECU but just upgrading my um, ignition so it also allows me to choose my fuel injection type so in with dictator you could only run the batch ignition so it would inject all the injectors at the same time but with Sweetwino I have the option of actually injecting the fuel individually per cylinder according to when the engine needs it this does require an additional sensor to know the position of the engine, which is the crank sensor. And some guys use the distributor as a crank sensor. So another that's another advantage, another uh, improvement to the dictator. En engine management systems have coolant and intake air temperature inputs, which allows you to tune your... So both of your ECUs have the option for inlaid air temps and coolant temps to adjust your fueling and your ignition according to what your engine needs. Both of them have an output for a fuel pump, a tack. Speedwino has additional outputs which the dictator doesn't have like boost control. So it controls a boost solenoid from the ECU. Both are able to control VVTI. So that's another option, another feature that they both have. Speedwino has the option for flat foot shifting and launch control. This is basically when you shoot flames or you want to have a consistent launch using your ECU so to cut the rev limit at a certain RPM. Holds, it builds a little bit of boost which is not really the point but it is 
beneficial. My previous dictator, you see, didn't have uh, launch control as it is a standard engine management. Speeduno uses Tuna Studio as a software, so there's a lot of features in Tuna Studio which deal with cold starts and uh, blending of maps according to the condition the engine is seeing in terms of temperature, airflow, every aspect can be monitored. A big issue that I had with the previous ECU <clears throat> and it's specific to my car, I did not have boost cut. So in this engine, if I would ever have to forget the wastegate line off, it would not, it would probably blow up the engine. So Speedino can actually prevent that by cutting your engine management if your boost ever exceeds your boost limit. Another feature that I don't think many ECUs have, Speedino can auto-tune your fuel table according to what you want. So as you drive, it would adjust your fuel table on the fly using an O2 sensor, which is also linked to your ECU. Another thing which Dictator doesn't do, Dictator can't read O2 sensors. Speedino can, and it can actually adjust your fueling while you're driving if you're using the paid version of Tuner Studio. Dictator only supports one type of RPM signal. If you want to use a different signal type, you'd have to buy a completely different ECU. But with Speedino, you can actually support any type of crank signal, whether it's VR or a hull effect sensor.